Welcome guys to this tutorial and in this tutorial we are gonna learn uh, this is basically a basic tutorial and uh, so that you get more familiar with this uh, platform so we are gonna learn about uh, a couple of things in this home tab so first of all we're gonna put uh, have some text like uh, Muhammad and uh, just copy it and select the area you want to copy it to so I'm gonna copy it here actually until here paste it and just click in here so I can readjust everything I'm gonna just make this little bit yeah okay now first of all this is 2013 word uh, 2013 um, office 2013 so you may not have this I, what do you call this uh, smoothness but still you will have uh, all the functionalities so first of all the copy and paste function in this area we are going to learn about the clipboard what is clipboard clipboard anything you have copied for example I have copied uh, Muhammad so I have Muhammad so I'll say something this is not something actually I misspelled when I copy it there's another uh, clipboard appears so I want to paste this in here as you can see you can copy one for example if you copy this then you can paste this every time you don't have the functionality to, to paste moment again but using clipboard you can paste uh, the same uh, the previous thing couple of times now I have Muhammad selected so I can now uh, paste Muhammad anywhere okay sorry the command you choose we're gonna merge perfect times so just paste it so that's all with this so clear all means there will be no mm, nothing what is clipboard clipboard is a, an, a specific area in your memory your RAM which is which has your copy uh, your text or something you copied uh, or cut from somewhere so let's go with this this scissor like thing is cut if I cut it and click on here paste so it will paste it and uh, it will cut it from paste it. and if we, I click this for example I say I'm gonna put borders on a uh, border on this as you can remember these are borders and I'll all borders I'll set this is formatting okay so if I want this formatting to be also available in here what I'll do I'll just click on the brush tool format painter and release it now I have formatting I can just copy single word for example I copy the formatting of this moment only and sorry first I'll select this and click on here and now if I just copy it all over the, this it should get copied let's say why isn't it getting copied yeah it is getting copied actually I selected this one but it was not selected when I didn't select it so this is basically it this area this area is called copy copy means copy anything and I'm not sure if it's uh, it means copying so let's check it out no just copying anything for example if it has formatting everything copy everything not anything everything in it so as you can see this elevator drive I don't know what you call but it looks good in 2013 it is available on other versions it is not okay now in here in here for example uh, the favorite text of mine is Algerian I think yeah this one so you can select text from here what type of text you want it to uh, appear and there are very good available in here as you can see good quantity of text available in here so you can select from them okay now this this is called B means bold bold means making it um, strong strong bold is same thing and means making it more uh, dense and more you can say black or more big in density you can just test it out bold is sim a simple thing italic means this mm, changing it it uh, italic what is do it just change its angle 
change the text angle a little bit so it becomes it, and that is called italics uh, italic or italicizing so when you click on it it says italicize your text so you can italicize this underline is predefined that when you click on it you will get underlined on your text now border as you can see you know you have seen that border is these things you can just have left borders you can just have right borders according to your need or you can have more borders and uh, select the way of border you want for example I want the border to have uh, this color and should be double so I click, click on it and now I say I want to have let's say inside this and color should be let me check it out check it ever so I think it's not working I don't know why you going to it's yeah you can just uh, I'm not I don't know actually why it isn't isn't it working let me just check again so that okay so let me choose some red color and choose this one and this so the, the color uh, that border is available but, but the color is not available but I don't know why maybe sometimes it happens I don't do these type of things like actually so you can check this uh, these options the draw borders option sorry I actually paused the video so we were in here actually the reason for coloring I don't understand why it is happening maybe it's just in here so let's go in here draw borders it's not really as you can see a pencil like all you need to do is draw borders like this why is the color different and then black actually what I did earlier once and I selected a color from here now let's say I select this one and yes if you can't see it clearly let me change the uh, sorry let me change the color to something like uh, like 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 green I wish now you can see it actually you can test it out you all have to all uh, test all of it out so that you get more uh, used to it used to it okay now as erase border you can erase border isn't it as you can see erasing borders again I'm sorry the door opened okay you can just get rid of the borders as you can see these borders will go on go on not go on will just get erased okay this is the, uh, what erases this line color line style these are different type of line styles so I want these line styles actually this is pretty good this is called double mostly in programming languages the one I am familiar with is CSS and others but see I, this is called double in CSS okay double border border okay more border you have seen how to do it okay this area this is called uh, what does it do actually select some text for example something in here and you want the background color to change so you can just change the background color according to your need okay so this is what it does uh, basically this one okay this what is does when there is a autom uh, there you what it does is it changes the text color so I yeah this one is good so it changes the text color that's all now this one middle align middle align means uh, alignment from top to bottom it convert uh, from top to bottom alignment alignment means to give it a specific uh, to align it to me align it in a specific area that I can uh, basically I can say so alignment now alignment now it is centered 
to and, and what I did in, in here select center from uh, uh, middle align and from here middle align so this is aligned center and this thing in here if you see it when you click on it actually I didn't do that uh, forgot to tell you that when you click on it a lot of more properties appear for example bold elect electric italic and uh, text and strike through means go through the line super script means to make it upper subscript to make it lower so you can check these options out there are uh, border options fill options background fill options protection it should be locked or hidden and this we are gonna check right away alignment okay we are learning about alignment and this is it so click on alignment and this is it and these options appears actually you don't need to actually go in these options but you can check these out this is uh, these are really helpful so after this is done this alignment done so let's say this one which is called increase indent decrease indent what this does is increase your uh, what is a margin from left if I want to increase the margin from left I'll click on increase if I want to decrease margin I will decrease that's all and this one tells how to want to the text to appear orientation of your text so if you just double I uh, just go back check these two options too these are really good options now after this you have these text for example I want a heading I can't have it in here so I'll just uh, delete this and I want a heading so how will I get heading I'll just click on this to get uh, to merge them merge them means convert them into single cell so I'll call it this is basic tutorial on MS Excel so this is heading as you can see now this area in here this is called the um, text wrap or wrapping what does it do for example I write here something like instead of uh, how much I'll say actually not in here it won't be good let me type it in here I'll say hello I am Muhammad Ali so what did did it do it took and uh, take uh, took me out or take me to the other cell my text went to other cell but when I click on the other cell, there is no text it means it's overlaying on, on the other uh, on the other board, uh, cell so if I click on uh, let me delete this and click on the text uh, wrap or wrap text I'll say same thing hello I am Ahmed Ali yes. so what did they do it wrapped the text mean didn't let it go f uh, on left or oh, sorry on right or uh, and didn't let it go downward it just resized this board uh, sorry cells length and width that's all and this is really good when you have a problem of writing big things but uh, there is a problem okay whatever the problem okay and there is a problem of uh, wrapping so you can just wrap the text from here now here we come to the we come to the general options and this option you can let I will teach you this later because this is uh, some big story so I'll let me type here 500 and copy this and type in copy paste paste paste, paste. I want to paste all of them in here and this 500 I want it to be in dollar so it shows that it's $500 I can increase or decrease the after point values for example I want to I can increase or I can decrease or I can just get rid of point okay this is uh, dollar and I'm I live in Saudi Arabia so I don't have it in here so I'll click on by clicking in this 
uh, arrow, small arrow, I click on more accounting. Uh, then from here, I'll just click S A R, so it will give me. You can check this which one suits you best, but I am in Saudi Arabia, so this suits me best. Decimal places means uh, values after point or dot. Let me say I want five, so it will increase five. I'll just type zero, so it there will be nothing. And this is R, and you can check these options too. Percentage option, click on it, and it will become percent. And this has more than what it seems, but simply, simply it is percent, so it converts it into percent. And comma, if I click comma, it will give me this value. Clicking comma getting this clicking comma getting this okay actually let me tell you a little bit about uh, these and these are called conditional formatting and you don't need to uh, style condition formatting this is very advanced topic for you now style style this is none of your business for now actually so this insert insert is same, same, uh, same thing for example very easy thing I mean if you click on insert what you want to insert I want to insert a cell and so when you insert a cell what do you want to shift the cell i want to shift the cell to the to downward this cell i want to shift it so now i have cells okay if i click insert insert sheet row so means another row insert column to another column and insert sheet another sheet so that's basically it in here you can delete column delete cells I want to delete these cells so I'll click on delete cells shift cells up so now it's fixed you can cheat uh, delete sheet things like that format so horizontal height what you want the height to be uh, horizontal height let's say I will set 20 so it will increase the height of this cell you can just do it from here but if you want to be really really accurate then you can just select this width height changing thing okay <coughs> actually I have uh, I don't have time too much time for to explain because I have to go to pray so basically this is it you can change height width rename sheets move sheets from and tab color tab color means for example this as you can see color you can do it from here these all work from here so you don't have to do it there. and uh, here as you can remember you can as uh, find the sum average for example if I click in here click on this it will uh, find sum. this will find average and if, if I click on it again column number these are five in number dollar sign will go I don't need the dollar sign so how to get rid of dollar sign all you need to do is click in here and clear format so dollar sign was a format actually so click formatting uh, sorry clear formatting if you, I, I select this and uh, clear format means clear formatting it will clear formatting and if I click uh, clear contents will whatever inside is and clear components so let's check it out nothing happens because it doesn't have any components okay clear hyperlinks hyperlinks are text um, links that's all and clear all means clear everything filter fight and find and filtering means a to z so if I just go in here select all of these oh sorry all of these and uh, sort a to z expand the section so it will not work on here but uh, it's just sorting for example you want a to be first and m then uh, the a b c d uh, way you want to it to appear all the text so uh, this will work on that and find replace find find for example i want to find for ali so i'll find this is it has ali and i'll replace it by ali a l i so I'll say replace so it will get replaced thank you very much guys for watching if you have any question regarding this tutorial there will be link in the um, below descri uh, description you can check it out and go to that section and just
put your comment okay thank you very much guys for watching and